Hi guys, this is Jack at Jack's Trans. Part one of our video, uh, we showed you how to uh, make a data log and how we like to see you do that. We did a 30% throttle, 100% at 6,000, 100% at 7,000. Uh, we now have it on the computer uh, to view. We turned it into graph form here. If you have any questions on how to do that, just contact us uh, so it's easier to read. Uh, basically what we're looking at now are just clutch pressures in this video. Um, the TCM has what is called target, where it tells the transmission you know, how much pressure it wants the transmission to make, and then you have what I call actual, which is what the transmission sensors are showing that the trans is, is, is making. So if the, if the system is asking for two bar out of clutch, we should see you know, around maybe 1.8, 1.9 bar uh, just below that. But any blips or any movement that we see in pressures, the trans should follow that perfectly. So a healthy trans, you know, it's not going to be absolutely perfect on target, but it's going to follow it perfectly all the way through, and you'll see that in these logs. So if we focus here on this 30% throttle pull, this is a, a healthy trans, by the way. Up here is line pressure, and down here are clutch pressures. So if we look down here, line pressure target, is blue, so this is what the TCM is telling the trans to do, and then line pressure bar and actual is down here just below it. So as we can see, as target, as the TCM tells the transmission via target what to do, it's following it perfectly. You see, it's following every blip, and as you know, through the, the line pressure sensor um, in the gauge in the center console of the transmission, every time you shift, you see that blip, and that's exactly what we see here. We see the blip, it follows everything perfectly, all the way through, it seems to be happy. We go down here to the clutches. Remember on our 30% throttle pull on part one of our video, I did a uh, first gear pull at 30%. We look down here, yellow is actual clutch pressure and gray is clutch pressure target. So the TCM is telling the transmission what to do here and you can see the actual pressure is following it perfectly. I mean, every little bump it's following it all the way through. And then when I got to the end of first gear and shifted into second, you can see the pressure go away on clutch B uh, to, you know, as I get out of gear. And then it crosses over and you have second gear engage and pressure come up. So this is called a crossover area where clutch B is dropping off and clutch A is engaging. And we look over here at clutch A, it's even cleaner. Uh, we have blue is target and then green is actual. So for clutch A, you can see it's following it absolutely perfectly over, you know, just overlapping each other really, really nice. So I shift out a second into third. We have a nice crossover. You know, I have a little bit of a blip there. It's following perfectly all the way through. And then fourth and fifth. And then remember, I went into sixth for a very short amount of time and let off, and you can see it just follows it absolutely perfectly. So this is a nice, healthy trans. This part here where you see target and actual pressure a little off, you know, this is off by around 10%. That's totally normal. Uh, these units are a little leaky inside and it's just the way it is. If it's beyond 20% of a difference uh, between target and what the trans is actually doing, you may have a problem, but you know, 20% or less, you're in pretty good shape. So we go to the next one here. This was the wide open throttle pull at 6,000 RPM. You see line pressure, everything's following pretty well. Uh, it's not too bad. We go over here, remember I started off in second gear, so this is clutch A. And you can see everything is following very, very nicely. I mean, even this little bump here, it follows it perfectly. I mean, this is a really healthy trans. And I get to the end of second at 6,000. I shift, we have a nice crossover here, and it follows perfectly. And then I think I went into fifth too. And you can see why it's important to go through two gears. We can see the data all the way through for both gears, and it's nice and clean. So now we go to the 7,000 RPM log. Same thing, I start off in second, went all the way up to second, or all the way up to 7,000 RPM in second, shifted, 7,000 RPM in third. There's no drop off in pressure, everything is following perfectly. It's actually a really happy trans. So now we go to an unhealthy trans. Here is one, 30% throttle pull with a bad clutch A seal. So we look right here, so we have gray, 
So this is, uh, the gray is B pressure target and B pressure actual right here. So we're going up through. So B seems good, I would imagine, since this is B, uh, this is probably, you know, probably first gear. So then we do a shift here into second for clutch A and take a look at what's going on here. So clutch A, we look at blue, which is target. Target is going up, it's telling the transmission, hey, I want some more pressure, but the actual pressure is dropped off. There's nothing going on. It's not following anything. So right here we have a blown A seal uh, in the A clutch because the, the system is trying to add pressure and nothing is following it. And as you can see, as the pressure drops, it tries to follow a little bit, but it's always way off. I mean, right here, it's over 20% up here, obviously, as well over 20%. Then when we shift out of uh, second and go into third, you can see it follows just fine, which means that the B seal is still healthy. And then we go into the next gear, you can see, look at the gap. It's not, even fo it's not following any of this. It's all off, which means that we have a massive pressure leak in that clutch. So that's about it. Um, it's pretty common. If you have any questions about this stuff and want to send us data logs, we can put it in graph form like this. We can look at it here. Um, I would say probably a good 95% or more of the, the trans issues we run into. By doing these logs, we can find it pretty quickly and come up with a, a solid solution to the issue. Uh, please visit us on our DCT Facebook group uh, where we share a lot of this stuff. And uh, if you have any questions, please contact us at uh, sales at jackstransmissions.com. Hope this video is helpful. Thanks.